Okay, so I'm starting to see the the dark side of the age of Aquarius. And I will admit, possibly I'm part of the problem as well. But I was clubhouse is what really put me onto this idea. Okay, hear me out. Um how vocal and how active and how tech savvy and how everyone everyone now has a voice everyone can speak everyone can can, can communicate that sort of air, airy Aquarius energy right technology and ideas and off the wall thinking and the weirdos the fucking weirdos but the dark side I'm seeing specifically through Clubhouse maybe maybe that's the best place to see that is a lot of the conversations are useless. I mean, they're entertaining. They're entertaining. Um, maybe they might. Maybe they might spark an idea or two. But it seems to be like the more I, more conversations I listen, to, especially in the spiritual realm, um, via Clubhouse, particularly. I don't know what it is about Clubhouse. People are just. They're they're saying absolutely nothing. I, I was listening to this this in this in this room for like twenty minutes, and the, the thought I had to myself was, "What the fuck are you guys talking about?" It's like I I I, I can follow along. I can I can chime in on the conversation, and I could go with it. And people are both, well, I might get some use out of it, but I guess it's the it's not grounded. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. So I got done listening 15, 20 minutes in. I'm fucking invested. I'm invested. And what I wanted to say was, like, what? Like, what's your fucking point? Like, could you do me? Like, could you do me? A, could you do me a favor? Pretend, pretend you're in school, or in college, or something. You're writing a paper, and the teacher goes, "Hey, I need a thesis." And you go, "Well, how do you write a thesis?" Well, let's write a good thesis. If you want to write a good thesis, what you what you must do is. First of all, find out exactly what you're going to say. What what message do you want to give? And state it as plainly, but as precisely as possible. And as few words as possible. One sentence if you can. Two, maybe three. But like, keep it simple and keep it concise. Okay, say you're writing a paper on... You're writing a paper on water fluoridation. I believe water fluoridation is bad. These are the reasons. Reason one, reason two, reason three. I'm going to start with the history. I'm going to continue with its first introduction, its discovery and its introduction into the population. Now I will show the effects of different populations. Very concise. I'm gonna show how much they use, etc. And then your your essay goes paragraph one, the history, how it was found. Paragraph two, how it was introduced into the population. Paragraph three, what were the effects of being released into the population? In conclusion. I think water fluoridation is bad. This is where it came from. This is how it was first introduced and how it was used. And this is how it affected the population over 50 years. Thank you for reading my essay. My name is Keith. I'll see you next time. But with Clubhouse, there's no, there's no, you, you, the titles are catchy, but it's just, it's just like one fucking huge run on sentence. And it's like, the, uh, and maybe I'm just in the wrong rooms, but I, but I've been trying to spread four or five, six different rooms. But it, or maybe it's just the spiritual community. I don't know. But you have people talking, and then people cut each other off, and they chime in, or not even cut each other off, like tastefully interject. We'll say, as they should, like a good conversation, a good like they were, they were, they were mannerable about it. They were cool about it. They were they were courteous about it. But they're all interjecting back and forth. But none of them. A lot of the a lot of the conversations 
don't have a beginning, don't have a direction, and don't have an end. And so I was thinking, all right, maybe that, that's the Aquarius energy. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just what it is. It's, it's abstract, it's not very well defined. Like, I get it, I get it. But that's why I started this video off with maybe this is the dark side of Aquarius. Because you can, you can spend three weeks, I, I feel like I've spent months on Clubhouse now, and I haven't learned anything. You know, I, I, ha I haven't got any information that's like wowed me or increased my income. Maybe if you're networking, like I can see like, oh, you, you, you made a plug and now you can use some person's skills to enhance yours. Or you found a new teacher or you found someone you could collab with so you can grow your social media. Like something like that. But they, again, that's not the information that's being presented in the clubs. It mostly just seems like... I hate to say it, but like, who's got the cooler story? It's like, hey, I got a cool story. Hey, I have a cool story. Hey, my story is super cool. Listen to me. Hey, listen to me. Listen. To, hey, listen to me. Listen to me. I got something to say. I got something to say. I got something to say. It's almost like no one, it, it feels like no one's listening to listen, but they're listening so that they can respond to the story. Does that make sense? And maybe that is the, the dark side of us. So I guess, how do you fix it? Right, so like, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is, is exactly what I wish I could see more from, we'll, we'll keep it concise and say Clubhouse. Is, uh, what's your point, Keith? So that I'm not being too Aquarius about it. My point is, Let's not be overwhelmed by the amount of information that's out there. Let's keep it concise. Let's allow the free flow of that Aquarian energy to stimulate new ideas, to break out of old habits, to put us on a new path that we never would have thought of before that's abstract and it's cool and it's new and it's hip, it's unique. But, but let us, at the same time, make sure we have a well-defined direction even if we don't even if we don't know how that comes about let's at least define what it is that we want hey i want i want uh, i want 20 percent more income on my on my online shop okay so now I'm going to make sure that the information that I'm hunting out there is or pertains to how I can make more money for the shop, how I can work less but earn more income. That way when I go out there to, to, to digest the fucking mountains of information that are floating around, everyone has something to say, everyone has access to a cell phone. And everyone can talk now. So that now everyone's just talking. Whether they're an expert or not. Whether they know what the fuck they're talking about or not. Whether they even care to teach you something. Or whether they just want to hear themselves talk. You know what I mean? Because that's a similar problem too. It's like, hey, I have something to say. I know it won't benefit you at all. But let me hook you into it. So that, yeah, so that I can have you sitting in this room for 20 minutes. Going, what the fuck are these people talking about? As far as like, how is any of this useful? How is, any, how is any of this practical? It's like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Monty Python uh, video. It's super funny. You guys should check it out. Type in Monty Python. Maybe I'll put a link if I remember. Monty Python and the Philosopher's Soccer Game or something like that. Basically, it's um, a soccer match. And the two teams are made up of famous philosophers throughout history. And instead of actually playing soccer... They all stop and contemplate life. Aristotle contemplates life as he would contemplate it. Plato contemplates the soccer ball as, as Plato's mind works, for example. And you have all these famous... And, and, the, and the, the point is, no one's fucking playing soccer because everyone's standing around philosophizing. It's like, hey, I get it. We can work our minds. We can... We can be cool and hip and see how weird we can be and how abstract we can be. But if we can't actually anchor that into the reality, it's all fucking useless. Like that soccer game. 
It's like, yeah, it's, it's, sure, you can contemplate whether or not the ball is an illusion. Like, sure, I guess you could argue that the ball is an illusion, but does that... Do- Meanwhile, you're down, you're down 3-0 because you're standing around wondering if the ball is real instead of just fucking kicking the ball. And I mean, that, that's what I see happening as the dark side of the Age of Aquarius. It's like, hey, let's chill in the mind a bit, right? That may be the movement we're going, but if we don't make use of these ideas, then, then we're standing around the soccer field while everyone else is running around us. They got people slaying. People making money, people growing what they need to grow, people not stressing about, you know, basic needs in life. Um, because they're just playing soccer. It's like, hey, I get it. All right, all right, fair. This this might all be an illusion. But I, But if everything is an illusion, then everything is real. Because it's all equal. Does that mean, you know what, does that make sense? Like enjoy the enjoy the lasting illusion, because you're you what you feel, your experiences are real, your emotions are real, your happiness is real, your sadness, anxiety, that's all real. You can say your experience sucks, but that doesn't change the fact that if your whole life you're sad, depressed, and anxious, and worried, and and constantly in your head. Then you'll sure if it's an illusion, you'll just have had the shittiest illusion imaginable. Say you die, you go to the afterlife, and you go, "Oh, see, it was all an illusion, weak." And then you meet a buddy who was just in the illusion with you, and he goes, "Fuck, and that was awesome. That was the best illusion of my life. Holy shit, that was super cool." And what's the difference between the two people? The difference is one was able to make the best of the illusion, who learned the rules and applied them properly so that he could be king of the illusion. So that he could enjoy the dream. And the other person was just miserable the whole time. He was miserable in his in his correct analysis of the illusion. You're absolutely right. It's an illusion. Very reason how very reasonable of you. I don't know. Just a thought. Just an illusionary thoughts, if I may. <laughs> 